Closed captioning for great tastes is presented by Manitoba Chicken Producers, your online source for yum. Manitoba Liquor Mart presents Great Tastes of Manitoba. Great Tastes is brought to you by GreatTastesMB.ca. Local farms, local foods. Great Taste is sponsored by Manitoba Agriculture. Hey, welcome back to Great Taste of Manitoba. My name is Des Daniels and today it's all about Manitoba chicken producers and we are going to do global grilling with Manitoba chicken. Karen Armstrong is here. Karen, uh, you're like legendary. You've been with us just about every <laughs> season, if not almost, every season almost, from the very beginning. That's right. So we're so glad you're back. And of course, Ben Rush from Manitoba Liquor and hey. Lotteries. We'll get back to you in just a second. Uh, but global grilling, today we're going to marinate, marinate, marinate. That's right. What are we cooking today? We're starting off with uh, chimichurri chicken, uh, Argentinian flavors then we are going uh, to a Thai flavored recipe coconut lemongrass uh, grilled chicken and then we're finishing with a recipe from the Middle East uh, which is a zatter skewer with a tahini dipping sauce zatter oh. skewer mm -hmm. okay I'll work on that in my head before we get to that recipe we're going all over the place where Clearly. are you going <laughs> I'm going to do some shopping in a bit but uh, you know like what I love about this show is that uh, it's it's you can travel the world from the comfort of your own home kind of Absolutely. thing, right? Absolutely. So I'm going to travel the world for the, through the shelves of our store and see if I can find something that's really kind of groovy. Just don't get lost. Make sure you can come back. I will come back All from right. this. If you can only <laughs> smell the smells I'm smelling, it's it, wow. I am, isn't that, it's the, <laughs> right. Yeah, you've been busy here. You've sort of been getting yes. things ready. But we're going right. to start uh, with this, uh, with chimichurri. So now, I've learned uh, a little bit already about this. I thought it was a dish, but it's actually the sauce. And you it's said this is sauce. from Argentina. Yes, it's an Argentinian okay. sauce. And uh, it's it's wonderful, fresh flavors. So let's get started with our marinade. Let's. Uh, and starting with some oil in our blender. And then I'm going to add uh, some red wine vinegar or sherry vinegar, if you okay. can find it. And what kind of oil is that? That's canola, locally okay. grown. Canola, yep. there so it is any, again. So any good marinade, you have an oil and, a, and an acid. acid. So that's what we've got right there. We're going to uh, add a little more acid with some lemon juice. All right. And then we've got fresh herbs. That's one of the signatures of this particular dish. Now, can you change the herbs or are there signature, signature for chimichurri? Signature herbs okay. for chimichurri, flat leaf parsley, sometimes called Italian parsley. Okay. Some cilantro, so Perfect. a little bit of that South American uh, flavor there. Some fresh oregano. Yes. And this is from my garden. The nice thing about this recipe also is perfect when the herbs are fresh in the summertime. It's a great time to do this recipe. If you don't have fresh herbs, can you still work with it or not so much? This is one of those recipes that you really do need fresh. Well, plus it adds some, some bulk, right? Exactly. Okay. Yeah, fresh is, is really the way you want to go. Okay. Garlic. Of course. In there. I'm just wait. I'm, I'm just waiting yeah. for the capers. Like I'm just like I'm not <laughs> we'll like not to, to like we'll you know. To yeah, I know. Shallots or a little bit of red onion. Okay. Okay. That goes in there, and then okay capers. Do you want to try one of those? I do want to try one of them. I eat them all the time, but yeah. I'm going to pretend that I don't. And this is the first. This time. is a, a bud. It's a plant bud, and it's got a sort of a lemony flavor to it, so which goes really nicely with the with the ingredients pickly. in our. Yeah, and a little bit of a salt, briny flavor. Mm -hmm. Red pepper flakes, you gotta have a little bit of heat. Yeah, I'm sort of my, because when you say Argentina, I, I immediately think it's gonna be really spicy. No, actually not spicy, okay. just full of flavor. Some salt and some pepper go in here. And get the lid on, and then you're gonna uh, blend this, but you don't wanna puree it. So you wanna break down these ingredients, but you don't actually wanna turn it into a complete liquid. So All right. A chunk, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Blending, blending, blending. All right, so you see, you can still see some of the, yeah, the chunks. Sure. It's, it's not like not, all one color. Yeah, like there's exactly. Some, yeah. 
some. So that's as simple as the marinade is. So now let's talk about the chicken. Let's. So I've got some boneless, skinless chicken breasts in my favorite marinating tool, which Can is you? my plastic bag. Right, and quick and easy. Absolutely. Can you use other kinds of dark meat works chicken? really well in this because again stronger flavors and the dark meat uh, will hold up really nicely with those flavors because this is a, a recipe that does have a fair amount of acid in it with the vinegar and the lemon juice you don't have to marinate for very long okay so a couple of hours is is good you could put this throw this together in the morning and then barbecue in the evening all right so, so you just dump it on in now the thing with this is we're going to use half of this as a marinade and then we're going to save half and use it as uh, as our finishing sauce. Awesome. All right, so half goes in there and I'm going to get you to do the, the swish and, and smush. The smush and the smush. The technical culinary terms gotcha. for... Uh, and you want to try and get as much of the air out of there as you can. Exactly. exactly. Okay. I just wanted to quickly mention the cilantro too because that's such a great trick. Um, my cilantro goes bad in the fridge oh, all the yes. time because I can never use it fast enough. So this is, I just really want you to mention what you've done yeah. here. And all I'm doing, I, I'm doing is putting, cutting the ends off as soon as I get it from the, the store, putting it in a jar of water, sticking this in the fridge, and your, your herbs will stay really nice for a long time. That is brilliant. The only trick though is, it does not work for basil. Oh. Yeah, basil does not like being in the fridge, not but happy. your cilantro, your parsley, this works really, really okay, well. Okay, that is good to know. How's that for smush? That's smush. lovely smushing. Okay. okay, so that would go um, in the fridge for anywhere from, you know, 30 minutes to a couple of hours. Doesn't take very long. Okay. And then I've got some already grilling here. Yes, you do. Yeah. And what do you have this on? This is called a grill pan. Okay. And when you don't have a barbecue, this is a great way of being able to get those nice grill marks that you associate with barbecue without having to have a barbecue. It sits on top of the burners. It works best on a gas stove. It doesn't have to be maybe necessarily a gas stove. You can use it on an electric stove. Um, it just, you'll find that it has hot spots okay. where the burners are on an electric it's stove. It's an option though, right? But like it's, it's certainly an option. And you just, uh, you know, light spray of, uh, of oil or cooking yeah, spray. Yeah. And this is our, our marinated uh, chicken breasts are on here and you want to cook them uh, for about seven minutes per side. And don't eyeball the chicken. You have to use no. the meat thermometer. Very important. Yes. Use your meat thermometer. Their meat thermometer. Okay, yeah. very good. So there we go. That's the chimichurri. Uh, when we come back, when, when you hear things like lemongrass, coconut, you know Thai. We're going to have Absolutely. some fun with Thai. We'll be right back here on Great Taste of Manitoba. Don't go anywhere. You're watching Great Tastes of Manitoba, brought to you in part by Manitoba Agriculture.